Welcome back to Ajibit guys. I hope you are keeping safe, staying home and taking good care of yourself. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy M42 5G with us and we'll be doing the unboxing, first impression and a sort of a mini review of the smartphone. This smartphone first up should be priced on 30,000 but this price is on 20,000. That, that's a good point for you to know to watch the video to the end and it's also a clear winner in my book. Now I have one more announcement to be made. We'll be giving away two of this Belkin wireless earbuds two of these is priced around 6000 these are with good quality earbuds what you have to do is write in the comment what's the smartphone that you use and what's the feature that you wish it had once again what's the smartphone that you use and what feature you wish it had simple very good simple let's get on to the unboxing and before we do that don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel press the bell icon it helps us immensely now let's continue Let's quickly unbox. This is how it is. This is where the phone comes with. We have the prism dot black color. There's one more color available in this, but we've got this one. And we have already set this up. Inside it is a 15 watt charger, a C type cable. There is no, there's no case. There is this thing here. It doesn't come with a case. It only comes with the manual. And we have the smartphone with us. Now this is the phone guys, this is the phone, it's incredibly light, it's only 190 grams. Now there are the volume blockers here, these two buttons here, there's a the power button here, the SIM tray is right here. There's only C type cable, it's also got a 3.5M jack, yes. Now that's a good thing Samsung has done because you need it. The speaker grill is right here, there is a, there are two microphones on, this, on the phone. In terms of the fingerprint, I tried the fingerprint, it's quite fast, quite fast, I would say it's quite fast. Now let's test the face unlock, yeah, that also works very good and you can also have an alternative face lock, yes, one you can have with the specs, one you can have without the specs and it works both ways. So the phone doesn't lag, you know, the phone really has very smooth in terms of operation. I didn't find anything which really doesn't feel uh, wanting. Now the design of this is very neat. In fact, I would give it 10 on 10 because for the price packaging, it looks very premium. The dot finish, the camera placement, it looks very no nonsense right on the job kind of a phone. You know, it looks very premium. Yes, it does catch a lot of our fingerprints that you live with, but I'm sure you'll have a case. Speaking of display, it comes with a 6.62 inch screen, HD plus super amyloid screen it is not fhd plus which is an obvious cost cutting by samsung nonetheless it's a great screen to look at you only get a 600 hertz panel on this phone which kind of feels a bit outdated at this point now let's test the sound the sound is actually very decent so this phone is quite loud because i kept it close to the microphone so you guys get a real feel of it i also did some photography testing and you can take a look at so and the pictures came out very nice this is a selfie video and i'm talking straight on the camera so you can see the sound quality also when you're making blogs and all so uh, while you're taking the selfie you can just the uh, you know camera angle you can take the switch in fact the best part about Samsung UI is that it has that whole host of uh, softwares and updates which for camera it really works very well. It got a 48 megapixel camera, it's a very steady selfie camera. In fact, I took a video while I'm doing it, you'll see it right now. It works pretty good actually for the, there's no complaints really, you can't really pick on the smartphone anywhere. The main USB of this smartphone are its specs. The Samsung Galaxy M42 comes with an 8 GB of RAM and 128 gig of storage. It also has an option of 6 and 128, paired with a Snapdragon 750G processor and 5G connectivity, this phone becomes a budget powerhouse. And of course, it has a Samsung brand to go with it. While the SoC performs great in games and applications, the 5G connectivity will ensure that you'll enjoy a lag-free experience all the time. So it's 5G ready, it's got a good price point, design-wise looks cool. To summarize, I would safely give this smartphone 9 on 10. First, 
it's rightly priced for the price is basically gets a lot of specs samsung has given a lot of specs for the price yes it doesn't come with full hd but you can't get everything and uh, yeah i'm taking away one point because it doesn't come with one case because it's going to bother us to go and again buy another case so samsung please try and slip one case which is it makes it very easy because everybody will buy a case the fingerprint it does attract but the design wise is very good you really can't really pick on it it clearly checks all the right boxes it comes with the samsung brand inside the smartphone if you see this got uh, a lot of things you know it's got a safety uh, it's got a secure folder you should try the gt plus you should try various apps that it, it has and uh, it's pretty fluid the 5000 mAh battery really lasts you the whole day it's very light it's got the 3.5 jack if you're looking for something else and i don't know what else you're looking for in case you want to know anything more about the smartphone do ask us in the comments we'll try and come back to you uh, with the answer for that but this phone is actually quite there and to end the review we have the true wireless here but waiting up for grabs don't forget to give that comment also until then take care and stay safe